a supposedly secure part of Kabul, the scene of mass casualties. A luxury hotel targeted. And now in the U.S. Capitol, new questions about whether President Donald Trump's strategy in Afghanistan is working. The attacks last month were a real shock. That's a State Department official touting the new policy and hearing these kinds of criticisms. Maybe it's time we have a frank discussion, Congress, whether or not there is a military solution in Afghanistan. We're spending $50 billion a year. That could be better spent. Why do the Taliban want a political settlement? They now control more territory than they controlled since 2001. They're gaining ground. They're creating chaos. That was the big question here. What is the long-term strategy? The administration has long said they want to negotiate a settlement with the Taliban. That is, until President Trump said the opposite. There's no talking to the Taliban. We don't want to talk to the Taliban. We're going to finish what we have to finish. What nobody else has been able to finish, we're going to be able to do it. The explanation now? He was simply upset. I think what President, President Trump was expressing was a reaction to uh, the terrorist activities, of the, the horrible terrorist activities last month in Kabul. Significant elements of the Taliban are not prepared to negotiate, and it may take a long time before they are willing to negotiate. To get them there, the administration says they need to turn the tide on the battlefield. The coalition just announced that they've expanded the bombing campaign to the north in just over the last four days, dropping 24 bombs on what they say were Taliban targets, the most ever from a B-52 bomber. The air campaign has dramatically increased under President Trump. According to data from the U.S. military, they dropped more than 4,300 bombs in 2017. That's up from around 1,300 the year before. Secretary of Defense James Mattis was also asked to defend the strategy on Capitol Hill. In fact, uh, what we are doing to earn the trust of the American people is to ensure another 9-11 hatched out of there does not uh, happen during our watch. Making it clear recent events will not change the strategy after more than 16 years. More troops, more bombing, with the hope it eventually leads to peace. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.